Tod von Zen! So gib es die Skihan! Geh nach ihnen, du Sauer! was the scene in California's Mojave Desert eight years ago. Our historic first view of the newcomer's ship. Theirs was a slave ship carrying a quarter of a million beings, bred to adapt, evolve, and labor in any environment. These newcomers are physically stronger than human beings, with keener senses and two hearts. With no way to leave Earth, the Tanktonese newcomers have become the latest addition to the population of Los Angeles. salt water in your eyes. Well, if we weren't so underfunded and understaffed, I could have called for human backup. So tell me, Morris, is she uh, starting to kick you? <laughs> I think she's doing cartwheels. <laughs> How long has it been since the pod transfer? Five weeks? Just three. Really? Oh, well, you're so big. <laughs> hey, Morris. George. What happened? Oh, George walked into a 594. The perp pulled a squirt gun and shot him with salt water. Oh. You know what I miss most about being pregnant? What's that? Special appreciation you suddenly feel for your body. I mean, you never look at your genitalia in the same way. I really don't want to think about it, George. Yes. What once was just an object of sexual gratification now supports and nourishes new life. Yeah. Uh, wonderful. Oh. I have a few paternity shirts left over from my last pregnancy. I'll bring them by tomorrow. Beats me, George. You guys got all this advanced technology, you still can't figure a way around pregnancy. What do you mean? Well, after the woman pops the pot out, why don't you just cook the kid in a test tube the rest of the way? And deprive ourselves of life's greatest pleasures? You know, Matt, sometimes I don't understand you. 
decorating your desk? No, it's for Kathy. She's moving in today. Kathy's moving into your apartment? Mm -hmm. And so what? Well, normally the male moves into the female's chuklak. Oh, nest. Welcome to Earth, George. It's either my chuklak or no chuklak. We couldn't find her one with a few more leaves? I had plenty of leaves. I just forgot it in my trunk for a few days. I should fix it up. George! George, Albert and I need to talk to you. We have decided to have a child. Oh, well, that's Hi. wonderful. <laughs> Seeing Morris called pregnant. It made him realize how much he wants a baby. And I, I know Binums don't usually choose to parent, but I feel it would bring us so much closer. Of course. We want you to serve as Ganum and fertilize May. Me? Yeah. Oh, Albert. May. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? You fertilize May. Well, as a Binum, Albert is physiologically incapable of fertilizing May. He can only catalyze her. In order to conceive, she needs a Ganum. Albert was Binum for your children, and you will be Ganum for ours. It's so beautiful. Oh, Albert. It's a great honor. Thank you. Oh boy, three to tango. Albert. I'll need a new robe for the ceremony. You know, Studley, uh, you might want to run this past the missus first. Why? Well, most wives aren't particularly thrilled when their hubbies have sex with other women. Well, we may be on Earth, but we are Tinktonese. We are not given to petty human jealousy. Susan will be elated. As proud as a teapot. Peacock, and I doubt it. Sykes, Francisco. Sorry to intrude on your morning reverie. This 245 just came in. Hey, Bri, when are we going to get those new computers? We sent in the requisition six months ago. Sykes, in case you haven't noticed, this department's broke. And besides, little boys have to earn their toys. Hey, little man. How you doing? Get to work. Human witnesses report that the victim's pleas for help were ignored by newcomer bystanders. Strange. Sounds like L.A. to me. Well, I just meant that, by and large, newcomers tend to be good Samaritans. Samaritans. Oh, that too. She looks about 16. No ID. And Eno. A what? I don't want to have anything to do with this case. What are you talking about? It's a waste of time. Enos. They have no respect for life. They are decock, oh. savages. Enos? What's an Eno? Just take it from me. These creatures are not worth a second of our time. Creatures? Is this my partner talking, defender of the oppressed? If I said something like that, you'd be stomping me with yourself. I don't want to get into this with you. They shouldn't even be out on the street. No Tenktonese should have to look at an Eno. George, she is Tenktonese. Oh, hardly. Just look at those spots. Well, they're practically gray. And so ill-defined. You're kidding, right? Well, I don't expect you to understand. To humans, we all look alike. But we are not. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, I don't know what bug flew up your collar, but we're cops, George. And that girl, whatever you want to call her, is dead. We're going to find out why. May I bring you something to drink? A glass of Chardonnay for me. What sour milks do you have by the glass? Our house, California Guernsey, or a very nice Wisconsin Jersey. I'll have the Jersey. Our specials today for humans, a fresh Dover sole, lightly sautéed in a Mernier sauce. And for newcomers, we have... <clears throat> faux tornado of beef made from pressed eggplant. Sour milk. For lunch? I need a drink. Can't be a bad hair day. So what is it? I'm not getting the senior vice presidency. Rosa is, and she should. She's got great ideas, better than mine. Rosa was just in the right place at the right time, and come on. You promised you were gonna stop with all this negative self-image bourgeois. It's not bourgeois. I just feel like, what's the expression? An old screw. Shoot, whatever. Even my husband's bored with me. George? You mean, you two are... Oh, we're having sex, if you can call it that. It's just so dull and unimaginative. 
George seems to have forgotten that there's more to love making than the Zekchak position. The what? It's it's our equivalent to your um, masonry position. Except, of course, the male has his right ankle under the female's chin. <sighs> of course. And then he's asleep two minutes after we're done. I'm obviously not attractive to him anymore. Here you are, ladies. Susan, you're an alarmist. So your sex isn't setting off the smoke detector. It's not like George is playing around or anything. Playing around? I'm sure he wouldn't. Girl, you're going to have to pull yourself out of this funk. You were a talented, beautiful female. You're worrying for nothing. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for coming. Oh, this is going to put me behind. I don't know if I can get all my things moved into your place tonight. That's ah, okay. Uh, Matt George, this is my assistant, Daniel. Hi. Hi. Yeah, the regular Emmy booked. Gave me some crap about some personal emergency. Oh. Seems my newcomer colleagues are a little hinky about this case. The victim is an Eno. Oh. I'm sorry you had to be subjected to this. That's all right. You know, George, I'm starting to think that under that alien skin there beats the two hearts of a bigot. That's ridiculous. Enos are savages. No one should have to look at an Eno. Doesn't that sound like bigotry to you? Matt, bigotry is an unfounded, irrational bias. Any negative feeling I have toward Enos comes from direct experience. Oh, yeah? What kind of direct experience? Maybe we should just get on with the autopsy. No, 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 no. I want to hear about this direct experience. What, one of those Enos came over to clean the pool and left some leaves in the drain? We're wasting time. Let's get this over with. Like I said, dig it. The deceased was shot with a tranquilizing dart, but the cause of death was most likely trauma from the impact of the car. I have to take a tissue sample. Did you know she was pregnant? No. About nine weeks. She was very close to VDOC. That's the transference of the pod to the male. All right, let's sit up. I'll start the internal exam now. Can you know Papri Spari? If to not force this meme is so much. What? Hello, and can see men lit. If he go They didn't really have a choice. Their failure put us all at risk. Yes, but do we have to do this as an example to the others? Arase Meganimo. See you there. Following the standard postmortem procedure for a pregnant newcomer female, I'm going to make a Bonhoeffer modified Y incision. The template, please. Tissue necrosis consistent with sudden trauma, adrenal flange engorged as expected. I'm incising the uterus now. Atypical odor inconsistent with this state of decomposition. Daniel? <laughs> Matt, stay back. Keep everybody back. George, steal the door. What happened? He's dead.
fumes, clearly lethal to humans, whatever they are, came from our amniotic fluid. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Never. Enos, doesn't surprise me. George, it couldn't have anything to do with that. With what? Come on, guys, let me in on this. This is a police investigation. What's the story with these Enos? Kathy? On the ship, they performed the lowest tasks. They were responsible for disposing of all the refuse, garbage, bodily waste, biological hazards, corpses. Yeah, so? They had to feed themselves from the waste. Sometimes when there was nothing else, they were forced to eat the dead. They were cannibals, Matt. Cannibals. That's why you've never heard of the Enos. They're our shame. Well, okay, they were slaves, weren't they? They didn't exactly have a lot of choice. Sometimes death is the preferable choice. I'll be sure and remember that, Your Holiness. But I don't care what she had for breakfast. She, she still shouldn't be lethal, should she? No. I'll have to arrange special precautions to continue the autopsy. Buck! Dinner! Can I have a glass of sour milk? You're too young for milk. Have a beer, honey. Beer's for little kids. Oh, Emily, we need to get you excused from school for Father-Daughter Day. Remind me to write you a note. How was the job interview? About 500 guys showed up. I didn't fill out an application. Well, if you don't fill out an application, Buck, you won't even have a chance. Mom, you really think I want to stuff tacos for a living? Well, what do you want to do? I don't know, be an architect or record producer? An architect or a record producer? Can we talk about something else? Well, actually, I have an announcement to make. Albert and May have decided to have a baby. Cool. Really? I didn't think bin had babies. Since they are catalyzers for procreation, they have traditionally led monastic lives. But new planet, new customs. All Albert needs is a ganom to fertilize May. And since Albert catalyzed you, Guess which Ganom they have asked to fertilize May. Dad, you? <laughs> That's great! George, wait. You're gonna have sex with May. No, duh, Mom. How else? Why did they ask me? I mean, I'm young and my aqua fluid's got a much higher count. Your aqua fluid hasn't helped you get a job. George, you're not serious about this. Of course I am. And you didn't think to consult me? No, why? Well, in order to fertilize May, you're going to have to conserve your aqua fluid, which means you won't be able to have sex with me for a month. Well, I, I realize that it is a, a sacrifice. Well, now that you've brought it up, the kind of sex we've been having lately, I'll probably not even notice a difference. What do you mean, Mom? All we ever do is the sex chat position. That's all? Not even putluck? Oh, putluck is too rough on my shins. Besides, when we get to bed so late, I'm tired. Well, you won't have to worry about that now, will you? You found the perfect excuse to skip the whole thing. Susan, I don't understand. I thought you'd be delighted. Really? My husband says he's not going to have sex with me for a month so he can copulate with another female. And I'm supposed to be delighted. You sound like a jealous human woman. Dad. It's okay, Buck. I obviously don't meet your father's sexual needs. Maybe somebody else can. Well, that's the last of them. Oh, thanks. I, I put your cups in the back of the cupboard. Mine weren't so cracked and chipped. I, I hope that's OK. Sure. Good idea. Oh. You already have one of these. Well, I, I guess I can just give mine to the Salvation Navy. <laughs> OK. You know, this was the first thing I bought for myself when I got my own apartment. So, look at us. Here we are, living together. <laughs> living together. Well, why don't we celebrate? I got the perfect drink for the mixed species couple, sparkling cider. What's this? Oh, that's the sponge for my 
adrenal flange. It works much better when it's cold. Ah. You know that Eno girl, I um, sent out her amniotic fluid to be analyzed and the Bureau for Newcomer Affairs is doing a tissue ID, so we should be able to finish that autopsy tomorrow. Good. Kathy, about the uh, adrenal flange sponge, uh, that's no big deal. I can get used to that. Really. How'd the news go over? You'll have to be a little more specific. <laughs> Come on. Surrogate George, the sex machine? What'd Susan say? Well, I hate to disappoint you, Matthew, but she was very pleased. That's not. Yes. Very pleased. Yes. Pelvic cavity is now fully exposed. I'm removing the fetal pod. Janice, let me have a tray. Oh, I love this. I'm making an incision into the anterior sheath of the fetal pod. Retractors. I'm separating the pod walls. The fetus is now visible. Oh boy. It's deformed. Oh, yeah, look look at that thing down its back. The exoskeleton, that's normal for this stage of development. What? That thing looks like a big bug. The Tanktonese fetus progresses through several stages of evolutionary development. Not unlike the human fetus, which at five weeks resembles a salamander. Now, this is the deformity, the abdomen. It's three times the normal size. He announced this at the dinner table. No sex, another woman. Just like that. Well, you're not going to let him get away with this, are you? Well, what can I do? It's his decision. There you go with that victim-slave mentality again. Do you want to save this marriage? Of course I do. Let's look at your options, then. You could try seducing him, remind George of why he married you in the first place, or get even. Get even. Make George jealous. Get yourself a taste of that. Jessica. Why not? Let George know how it feels. Besides, Rick likes you. Oh, come on. Rickshaw. I'm an old married female. I've seen the way he looks at you. Believe me, he'd love to get his hands on your spots. Oh, will you be quiet? He's a newcomer. He'll hear you. Good. I could never do something like that. Okay, then. Go invest in some French underwear. Come on, George, I'll buy you a donut. Autopsies make me hungry. I thought they made you sick. They do, but after I get sick, I get hungry. Hey, Alberto. May a Danish for me and a donut for my partner. Jelly weasel, glazed marmot. Hi, George. Albert, just coffee with Dijon. Coming right up. <laughs> I bet Susan was surprised when you told her about us. Uh, yes, she was. Very surprised. Oh, I wish I could have seen the look on her face. So did you and Susan decide on a date yet? Well, we're still looking at our calendar. <laughs> oh, thanks. Good. Uh, this came in from the BNA. Tissue ID on that dead nuke girl. Her name is Gail Warnings. Age 16, no next to Kim. Captain, I hope you'll be there when George impregnates me. What? Oh, it just wouldn't be the same without you. Well, my sentiments, exactly. Right. <laughs> Still looking at the calendar, huh? Is that a complicated deal over at your house? Coffee needs a little more mustard. We got the analysis of that Eno's amniotic fluid. Her name was Gail Warnings. All right. 
Miss Warning's amniotic fluid had a very high concentration of hydrofluoric acid. That's a byproduct of gasoline production. Now, hydrofluoric acid would explain the fumes. It gives off a fluorine gas that is highly toxic to humans. How could she have been exposed to hydrofluoric acid? Well, Eno's have been known to find employment on Earth doing jobs not particularly desirable. Toxic waste to clean up, for instance. You mean the only jobs they could get were the ones nobody else would take? Do you think that she could have gotten this contaminated from just mopping up spills? No, not at these levels. She must have been deliberately injected. She is our salvation. We won't be outcasts anymore. Those who oppressed us, who continue to oppress us, will fall on their knees before us. putting everything together so I had to take a shower <laughs> so what do you think <laughs> I see you found room for your clown collection well I had to move a few things around uh, uh, I don't remember those oh I just bought them I couldn't resist do you know what I just love about them uh -uh. they're so big yeah did I ever mention that in Tanktonese culture there are no clowns? Yeah, I think you mentioned that. Um, well, you did a, a real, real nice job. J just one thing, my recliner, uh, I don't see it. Oh, don't worry, it's safe. I, I put it in storage. You put my recliner in storage? Well, there wasn't any room for it. <laughs> I see, no room. Funny, plenty of room for the clowns. Yep. No dearth of space under the big top. Matt, are you angry? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little PO'd. I love that recliner. We've been together since Super Bowl 92. But where would I have put the love seat? Hey, the recliner was here first. I don't understand. You said to me, this is your home now. Make yourself comfortable. That doesn't mean make me uncomfortable. You should have asked first, at least. Well, I'm sorry. But since you insisted that we move into your... two clock, I thought, if nothing else, you would at least let me nest like a Tanktonese female. Kathy! What would you rather do at the beach? Play volleyball, lie in the sun, or go snorkeling? In salt water like I'm gonna fry myself to death? Okay, so the form's written for humans. The agency just needs your profile so they can find you a job. All right, volleyball. No, 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 wait. Lie in the sun, catch some UV? I, I wouldn't go to the beach anyway. Volleyball. I am really destined for great things. Can't even fill out a stupid profile. George. Susan. I'm sorry about last night. So am I. I realize our our sex life has been a little mundane lately. Well, I'm sure I'm partly to blame. 
After all, it does take two. Ah, uh, Susan. When you fondle my knee like I know. that. Maybe if I fondled them more often. <laughs> well, I, I really can't afford to. Maybe then you wouldn't need me. What? If I'd been more responsive to your needs, Nemo. Ah, oh, no, Susan, you've got this all wrong. This doesn't have anything to do with you. This doesn't have anything to do with me. Not in the way that you think. I want to help Albert and May. I'm not having sex with her to have sex with her. So you've decided you're going to go ahead with this. Uh, Susan. George, why don't you just tell me the truth? I'm not desirable to you anymore. Well, no, 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 I don't mean that. I, I, I find you, you very, very attractive. Oh, I hate it when you get like this. Susan, Susan. Don't touch me. You're looking a bit sour, Matthew. Kathy, 86, my lounger. And send in the clowns. Oh, clowns. I love clowns. Did you know that clowns are not indigenous to our culture? George! Ah! Ah! George, you, are you okay? Sorry. Ah! Oh. Oh. These are old computers, but look, I got you a new surge protector. It's the least I could do for my Ganome. Oh, uh, thank you, Albert. And we realized that we were um, very inconsiderate in asking you to set a date for the ceremony without knowing May's cycle. So here we um, made a list of all the times when she would be the most fertile. <laughs> so um, now this one is a Monday, so it may not be so convenient for oh, well, some people. Thank you. But... Thank you, Albert. I'll uh, talk to Susan. OK. Oh. You know, George, as a long-time observer of criminal behavior, I'd say you're trying to hide something. Sykes, you said that I authorized a priority search on a Gale Warnings. Oh, thanks, Cap. I didn't authorize a priority search on anyone. You forged my signature. Again. It tends to speed up the process. Next time you're on report. Okay. George, she was employed at a toxic waste disposal plant. I'm Terry Firma. I'm the owner of New Life. I'm Detective Sykes. This is Detective Francisco. George. George. It's all right. Your partner is observing traditional Tank Denise custom when meeting an Eno. We're considered unclean. We're investigating the death of one of your employees, Gail Warnings. Gail? Dead? Witnesses say she was attacked by two Eno males. It's uh, more likely Tank Denise. We're often the victim of hate crimes. From description of what they were wearing, I'd say they worked here as well. well I, I certainly hope not. We consider ourselves kind of a family. Well, speaking of family, are you aware that Ms. Warnings was pregnant? No, actually. Did you know that Gail Warnings was pregnant, Soren? No, I did not. She was contaminated with hydrofluoric acid. Do you process that here? Yes, among other industrial wastes. Come this way. Hydrofluoric acid is bad news for humans. Uh, you don't have anything to worry about, Detective. This room is the end point in our process. Nothing running through these pipes can hurt you. You neutralize the waste on the elemental level. Using a cold fusion technique that we perfected on the ship, we're able to manipulate the strong force within an atom. In the case of hydrofluoric acid, for example, we transmute the fluorine into neon, create a harmless inert compound, and then flush it into the ocean. Can't hurt you, can't hurt the fish. Very impressive, but that doesn't explain how Ms. Warnings could have become so contaminated. Yeah, I, I don't understand it myself. At no point in the process do our technicians come into direct contact with the waste. We're constantly monitored by OSHA and the EPA. The only thing I could think, she must have disregarded our safety guidelines. Well, if you learn anything that could help us out, please give us a call. Sure. 
I'd be more than happy to do that. Jeez. He knows try not to attract attention to themselves. Living in a society where we're treated as invisible has taught us to be just that. in the fridge. Have you seen it? Oh. Oh, what? Were you going to eat that? Sure, I was going to eat it. Why wouldn't I eat it? Well, it smelled so bad. It smelled fine. It, it, it smelled the way hamburger is supposed to smell like. Where, where is it? In the bedroom closet on the back shelf. What? Well, I, I couldn't imagine that anyone would want that meat, so I used it to create a bacterial culture. A <laughs> bacterial culture? Right. Uh, what the hell's the matter with me? Why didn't I guess that? Matt, I'm sorry. I'll go to the store. No, it's okay. Really, I eat too much red meat as it is. You know, all that cholesterol. I'll just have some vegetables. I've ruined your dinner. No, no, no. This is great. Really. Fun. Hey, that program that you wanted to see on PBS is on tonight. Uh, Chengtonese barrel dancing? They dance on the barrels or in the barrels? Matt, I, I have to go back to the hospital tonight. I just came home to change my clothes. Well, they were understaffed in pediatrics, so I volunteered to work nights all week. All week? I'll never see you. I know. <laughs> What's the point of living together if you're never around? Well, considering the mess I've made of things lately, maybe that's for the best. Kathy. No, Matt. I'm just not very good at this. Oh, uh, Susan, I just thought you might like to know that barrel dancing special is on tonight. I'm busy, George. All right. a job and you're sitting here playing virtual games. Dad, it's 10 o'clock. There's not a lot of job interviews this time of night. You lie around the house like some lazy Eno. You should be thinking about your life. All I ever do is think about my life. The problem is you have no focus. By the time I got out of quarantine, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I went out and I did it. The only reason you did squat was because of affirmative action. Well, that's gone, so good for you and diddy wipe for me. Things might be a little tougher now than when I first started out, but that's all the more reason you need a driving purpose, a goal. Are you guys at it again? Oh, now your sister. Now, she has always had focus. She has always known exactly what she wanted to be. Cut him some slack, Dad. Not everybody wants to be Secretary of the Interior. Well, what's the principle of the thing that I'm talking about? Oh, Emily, by the way, don't forget, uh, Father-Daughter Day. I know. I just don't want you to throw away your future. Yeah, thanks. Malicia, And all the homicide arrests within the last 48 hours come up on your monitor. Well, these old computers are a little slow. Ah, 
nihilist. Now, when you have a suspect... Excuse you me? For... Right. You're Detective Sykes? Yeah. Okay. I'm Carrie Onbeg. I used to work with Gail Warnings. She was my friend. Uh, please, have a seat. She was trying to get away from them so they wouldn't take her baby. It's because of them that she's dead. And if they knew I was here, they'd kill me, too. We just barely managed to escape. Emily, why don't you wait for me outside? Hmm? No. Who, who's they? At the plant. We're always asleep when it happens. They catalyze and impregnate us. And then when it's time to transfer the pod, they just take them away and we never see our baby. You're saying Inu women are being artificially fertilized and their offspring stolen from them? And Terry lied to you about the chemicals. They don't process the waste. They just store it. Well, thank you for coming down. Oh, hold on. Can you prove any of this? The chemicals are there. You can find them. They're in the tunnels. Tunnels? They're everywhere. This is the address of the Bureau of Newcomer Affairs. They'll help you get settled if you're afraid to go back to the plant. Aren't you going to do anything? We'll do whatever we can. Well, you heard her. Artificially impregnated and stolen pods and uh, tunnels everywhere, and we're supposed to take that seriously. It's just because she's an Eno. Well, Enos are certainly known to stretch the... Tr I think you're a bigot! Do I have to remind you of who Enos are and what they did? They ate the flesh of other Tanktonese. Like they had a choice. If you'd been in their situation, how do you know you wouldn't have done the same thing? Emily. Emily! So you didn't get the promotion, big deal. You'll get it next time. Yeah, right. Uh, yes, Rick. Susan, I just want to say I think you got a raw deal. It's too bad I'm not running this company. Uh, well, thank you. Susan, uh, listen, I'm getting together with a few of my friends tonight. Why don't you come party with us? What, go out? Yeah. <laughs> Get your mind off things. Forget about the job. Forget about George. No, I don't know. I, I don't feel much like partying. Which is why you need to, girl. Come on, what do you say? George! May. Did you check with Susan about those dates? Uh, the dates. I'm getting close to my first fertility spike, George, and if we don't make a decision soon, we'll have to wait till my next cycle. Uh, well, I've been thinking, and uh, maybe I'm not the best genom for you. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, maybe you should find someone younger with a uh, you know, higher uh, uncle count. <laughs> and uh, well, genetically speaking, I must tell you that premature spot fading does run in my family. Well, we don't want anybody else. Unless you don't want to be our gamma. Oh, no. No, no, no. Uh, of course I want to be your gamma. What is it, then? Is it your family? Is it, is it Susan? Does Susan have a problem with this? No, 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 no. Uh, well, oh, well, yes. Uh, it's just that, you see, she sees the, the delicacy of the situation, the complexity. Complexity? Well, you are another female, May, and I can't have intercourse with Susan. Well, it's just that she's feeling a little fragile right now with her work and, and me, and um, this isn't helping any, and, well, who knows? Maybe she'll feel different. Hey, George, listen to this. According to a Dr. Francis Tacker, she's an environmental engineer out at UCLA, 
No one's found a way to transmute fluorine by cold fusion or anything else. Well, she's a human, right? Yeah, so well, what does she know about Tinkanese technology? She knows every time she's tried to get new life to demonstrate the operation, they've always made some excuse. Dr. Tacker thinks it's a scam. What about OSHA and the EPA inspectors? Oh, come on, George. They're both way understaffed. Every 10 years, some yo-yo comes in and signs them off. The big question is, if they're not processing the waste, where are they hiding it? In some tunnels, maybe? Please help me. Please. Nothing for you, Eno. Oh, please. Oh, back to the sewer. I... I brought you some things. Uh, the sweater, some warm socks. There's food in here, too. Thank you. Let's do slides and both take Eno. Eno. Look, Eno's got a friend. Eno lover. Eno lover. Well, maybe she's not a friend. Maybe she's a dinner. Eno lover. You wind up on a plate. Still like food, so Eno's fine. Still like food, me stew. You probably don't taste too good, Eno lover. You need a little salt. Yeah. Judge denied a request for a warrant to search New Life. So what do you want me to do? Get him on the phone and scream. Get us that warrant. You uh, obviously didn't get the message. The city isn't enthusiastic about any investigation of new life. What do you mean? Money. How do you think Congress balanced the federal budget? The shaft of the cities. We can't afford light bulbs, and you want to investigate one of the few businesses that's bringing some revenue into this town? What, taxes? That's just the beginning. Every load of waste that's delivered to new life, the city collects a fee. Remember all those third world countries we used to ship our toxic crap to? Well, they ship to us now, them and everybody else. Earthquake! Four point one. Four three. Huh? Hey, Braveheart. Listen, all the fees in the world aren't gonna help the city if it's sitting on a cesspool. Well, Sykes, that just goes to show how much you know. Let me George. tell you. What? We just got a call. Your daughter's been involved in a street disturbance down on Little Tank Town. They've taken her to County Hospital. Oh, fuck. Where's Emily? The doctor's in with her. How is she? They beat her up pretty bad. Carrie, too. But I guess you wouldn't care about some lazy Eno. Did you call your mother? They're trying to find her. She was very lucky. If the salt water had gotten in her eyes, she'd be blind. Carrie, how's Carrie? She's in x-ray. We think it's just the arm that's broken. What were you doing in Little Tankton with that Eno girl? I just wanted to help her. They hit her for no reason. She didn't do anything. They just hit her. Hit her. Oh, Emily. Why don't you let me finish up in here? We'll be out in just a few minutes. Here you go. I already put the mustard in there. This was my fault. What, George? Just a bunch of punks who ought to be flambéed. Oh, no, no, man. It was hatred. Their hatred, mine, it makes no difference. It poisoned me. Almost got my daughter killed. Yeah, well, it didn't. When I was on the slave ship, alone in my cell, I would be seized with terror, asking myself how far I would go to survive. Would I betray a friend? Would I deny my family? Every day, I did things that I was ashamed of. Where would I draw the line? Emily was right, and you, you, you were right. Anyone could have done what the Enos did. That's why we make them our scapegoats. <laughs> scapegoats? Oh, yes. <laughs> scapegoats. We hate them because they make us confront ourselves. George.
Miss Arnbeck. I'm so very sorry. I'd like to help you if you'll let me. There is this place that I've heard of. Sit in the middle of nowhere. Nothing to eat, no beer. Why not? Kathy's off, saving all the little tots from ringworm. I've got nothing better to do tonight. Oh, boy. What'd she say? We in trouble? No. We are grateful that you brought her. We can help her learn how to live with dignity. Come. Uh, where are we going? The famous idea. We watched and we listened. We talked amongst ourselves and we decided that we could trust you. That maybe you could do something. These are pictures of a dream most of us have had. What does it mean? It tells about a, a birth of a queen or a queen mother. Not human, not Tanktonese. Queen mother. Queen bee? And what's that? Some kind of hive? It says the queen mother will bring about a new order. That the Enos will serve as her priests. All other creatures will bow before them. That's nice, real nice. You don't understand. We showed you this to warn you. We don't believe this is just a dream. We believe that there are Enos who already serve the Queen Mother. If she isn't stopped, she will destroy your civilization. All civilization will be destroyed by her. Rasit, Ipak Starak Ruyasapit. Kick <laughs> 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 It's me. Anybody home? Yeah. That chance. Ah, my old friend. What shall we do tonight? Have a drink? Don't mind if I do. What's that? TV. Good idea. <laughs> yeah, we really needed this love seat. If you felt a bit shaky today, no, you're not becoming unglued. We have a little trembler, 
4.3 on the Richter scale. Not a boy, George. In other news, a downtown apartment building had to be evacuated today when its tenants were overcome by noxious fumes. Our own Gina Rutenberg has the story. That gas has been identified as fluorine. Fluorine, which is given off by certain types of industrial waste. Now, luckily, there were no serious injuries today. However, authorities have told me that in heavy enough concentrations, fluorine is fatal to human beings. Now, right now, the source of that gas remains a mystery. There are no plants in this area that are known to use hydrofluoric acid. But luckily, the fumes have subsided enough. didn't tell me you were going to be here. Well, would you not have come had you known? Oh, no. <laughs> no, of course not. Well, I mean, I... Um... Ma'am, make a great drink here. It's soured cream to mint and pineapple juice. What do you say? Sure. A waitress? Beautiful tonight. Then again, you always do. It's already been a long day. Couldn't this wait until tomorrow? No, pull up a chair. Susan went out with her friends. Didn't even ask me if I wanted to come along. Yeah, we'll join the club. George, there's chemical fumes in that apartment building today. This isn't the first time. In the last year and a half, there have been three other leaks, all fluorine, all from unknown sources. The first one is when the Bonaventure was demolished. The second one was after another quake. The third one was after a natural gas line exploded. All ground disturbances. Yeah. Now check this out. Plotted the locations of all four leaks. Look at this. The old streetcar system, the red car, all of this was underground. And above ground, where the old terminal was, the new life plant carries tunnels. They are hiding the waste, and that's where. Any earthquake, explosion, any ground disturbance, and it leaks. Matt, the tunnel pattern is the same. Same as what? The Eno Drive. No judge is going to give us a search warrant, George. We've got to go down there on our own. You'll need protective gear. I'll wrangle a suit from Kathy. It was amazing. And the Eno showed us their drawings because they wanted to warn us. What's Dad going to do about it? He wasn't sure. He rags on me and says I'm not focused, and he's going to sit back and do nothing. <laughs> That's real focused. Fuck, Dad's a policeman. He can't just do whatever he wants. But what happens to the Enos in the plant? Okay, all right. We'll see who's focused. Where's that new life plan? Why? What are you going to do? Excuse me, I 
want to see Dr. Kathy Frankel. I'm sorry she isn't here. Oh, what time did she get off? Dr. Frankel wasn't on duty tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was. She's been working extra shifts all week long. Dr. Frankel did not work all day today, and she didn't work last night either. Uh, did she leave a, a contact number in case of emergencies? Yeah, but I'm not supposed to give it out. This is police business. Okay. I'd better talk with my supervisor. Thanks for your assistance. Hey! It's one of those new eight-digit numbers. Looks like a little tank ton prefix. 5551-9974. Three three one nine West Hill Galaxy Hotel. Thanks, Phil. I owe you. me. Did I come in? I guess I knew you'd find out sooner or later. You're such a good detective. At the bathroom? You in there? Matt. Open up! Come on out! Where is he? He? The guy you're shacking up with. There is no guy. Oh, yeah, right. You come here every night and play solitaire. I don't play cards. I just sit. Kathy, be straight with me. I come here to be alone. Alone? I don't get it. I don't have my apartment anymore. I, I, I don't have any place to be. What do you mean? You, you, you've got a place with me. I was raised a slave, Matt. I have never had a mate. Take the knees or human. I don't know how. I love you. But I don't know how to be your mate. Every time I walk through that door of your apartment, I'm so afraid I'm going to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. I'm so afraid you won't want me anymore. <sighs> Kathy. Sometimes it just gets to be too much and I have to go away. I love you, Matt. And I want this to work. I just don't know what to do. It's okay. It's okay. We'll figure this out. It's okay. Tanktonese's marriage is built on three pillars: spiritual intimacy, emotional intimacy, and physical intimacy. My name is Wendy, and this is my husband Skip. We are here to help you reach the fullest potential for loving, physical intimacy in your marriage. Excuse me, I'm an architect student at USC. I'm doing a report on historical buildings in Los Angeles. I wonder if I could get the uh, plans of the old red car terminal. Yeah. Oh, 
Well, it's sealed off on the inside. Steel. Oversight. Swab, George, very swamp. Sorry to bother you here at work. Oh, that's all right. We just wanted to let you know that you don't have to worry. Albert and I have found an aqua bank, and I'm going to be fertilized there. Oh. We felt bad because we saw how upset George was getting. George? He loves you very much. He can't be happy if you're not happy. You know that, don't you? I guess sometimes I just don't feel very lovable. Or worthy. Well, everyone feels like that sometimes. It's worse for us because we were slaves most of our lives. We were treated like we were nothing. It's a hard thing to get over. Albert almost didn't marry me because he thought he wasn't good enough. <laughs> Can you believe that? I almost made a terrible mistake. <laughs> you get a lot of trouble when you don't love yourself. Well, goodbye, Susan. Bye. I'm sorry. Kerry was right. Only six barrels. This, this can't be all of it. George. Hydrofluoric acid. This is where they store it. Why? What? How the hell did they make this? Looks like a giant hive. Not how, but who? And if it is a giant hive, then there, there must be a queen. A queen mother. Footsteps. I wanted to do something. It was horrible, Dad. Horrible. What? What I found. Can you show us? We shouldn't go back there. Show us, Buck. Okay. I was looking for the chemicals to prove that Carrie was right, and I found this. Probably happened during yesterday's quake. Yeah, that light looked kind of strange. There's something behind that wall. Oh, yeah.
man, look at the size of those things. Queen must be huge. Oh man, let's get out of here. Horrible. I told ya. That's not the worst of it, guys. Mom's still out there. This must be the new order from the Eno drawing. Some kind of mutant newcomer species. How did this happen? Matt, do you remember the Eno fetus? How deformed it was. It must feed off hydrofluoric acid in the womb. Hydrofluoric acid in those honeycombs. They must eat the stuff. Uh, like I said, let's get out of here. Mark, you wait here. Dad, no! Wait I... here! you take from the Eno females. So she went to the police. You contaminate Eno females with hydrofluoric acid? To deform their offspring to create these monsters. They are not monsters. They're the future. The earth is choking on waste. We can tolerate it. They thrive on it. Something had to be done. Humans are destroying this planet. They will save it. They will consume all the waste. Sooner or later, natural selection would have produced a species that could survive here. All we've done is speed up evolution. Oh, thanks. We appreciate that. The one they call the Queen Mother. She was your first... You know about the Queen Mother? We didn't create her. A pregnant Eno female was accidentally exposed to hydrofluoric acid. She aborted just before the transfer to male stage. The fetus lived. She's waiting for you. Well, she can wait a little longer. You guys really think with a queen in your back pocket, you're gonna rule the world? All we want is to live with dignity. For generations, the Enos have been outcasts. No more. We will control our destiny. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, but you ain't driving this bus. She is. What do you mean? We created them. They can't exist without us. How can you say that with all those eggs hatching? What eggs? <laughs> she can't lay eggs. Like hell, we just saw about a thousand of them. You're lying. He's lying. You really don't know. Because the cavern was sealed until that earthquake. Cavern? He's Wait. lying. He is lying. They're stalling for time. Obviously, one of your creatures has been able to impregnate her. Yo, Darwin, she doesn't need you. Sooner or later, you get extinct. Enough! Let's go. I'm timing! I'm timing! 
kids after us. You, I take it all back. You should have gotten out while you could. Gone for help. No, you shouldn't have. How'd you find us? Building plans. <sighs> yeah. Now all we gotta do is find a way to slip past a million angry slugs. And fast. Matt. Matt. These are the pumps that are supposed to flush the treated waste into the sea. What, do you expect us to surf out of here? If we reverse the pumps, flood the tunnels with salt water. I'm with you, George. This thing's got to be half newcomer. The salt water should fry him. Right. But, George, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. The honeycombs, we, we can't just flush them out. It'll poison the city. There's a steel fire door. If we make sure that it's closed... Dad. Just a second, Buck. The water will never reach the Dad. city. Perfect end to a perfect day. We've seen the eggs. We're talking about flooding the tunnels with salt water? Yes. We don't have much time. We're surrounded. What about the other Renos in the plant? Can't they get us out of here? No, we're cut off. We have to go. No, wait, wait. You've got to wait until we shut the fire door. But George, there's no time. You've got to open it up now. I'll go make sure the fire door's closed. I'll see you up top. Go get your toes wet. All right. We're getting closer, Dad. Let's go this way. Let's go. Hurry! These tunnels will be flooded in about a minute. Oh, my God. 
Sykes, I just came from the mayor's office. She wants me to extend her heartfelt thanks in exposing this dangerous criminal enterprise. Really? Yeah. Off the record, she told me, tell that dumb SOB he's cost the city millions. If I could, I'd have his ass bounced off the force. So, looks like we're not getting those new computers. Oh. Excuse me, officer. Yes. Patty Mel, Bureau of Newcomer Affairs. Oh, yes. Hello. I understand there are some displaced Enos need our services. Uh, give me a minute. Sure. Most of them knew nothing. I'm the one who should be punished. I think everyone has been punished enough. Come. There's someone here to help you. Come, please. Outside? We've only lived in here. This is all we know. That's all going to change now. how I've been lately, the things that I've said. I worry about you, and sometimes it comes out in a negative way. Sometimes I can be my own worst enemy. <laughs> Me too, Dad. It's okay. No, no, no. I'm proud of you. I'm very proud. And I'm not going to worry anymore. Is it some kind of artwork? <laughs> no. <laughs> the single next door. It was vacant, so I rented it. For you. Your home away. You know, when everything gets to be too much. You can just come in here and close the blanket. up there with me about 45 minutes now isn't that a little excessive oh george is very thorough when it comes to fertilizing i just hope i did as good a job at catalyzing oh i'm sure you'll All right be you know maybe george and albert will help us have a baby someday now how does that work exactly there he is <laughs> george how did it go well i think oh uh May is almost ready to come down. Thank you, George. Do you need to lie down? Oh, no, no, no. I'm all right. Susan. 
Thank you for allowing this. So handsome, so intelligent. You're too fine a male specimen not to share. Well, when they're all gone, you will have my undivided attention. Uh, tomorrow, I've been boning up. Really? Here, Dad. <laughs> Way to go. Oh, thank you, son. Yeah. Have one for yourself. Cool. You want some ice for your elbows, Dad? <laughs> well, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> now, Buck, you can only have one of those. Oh, Mom. Lighten up. Thank you for coming. I was thrown off by sloth. Not your fault. Oh, look. George. I'm Kike Singh. I'm Kike Singh.